Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Today we're going to take a look at OnlyOffice, which I must admit is an office suite that I have really kind of overlooked over the last couple of years. I've primarily been bouncing back and forth between FreeOffice and LibreOffice. And I've got to say LibreOffice has been on quite the update path with bug fixes and things really over the last uh, six months to a year. But I received a, a really nice email from Vlad, uh, a part of the only office team, and he reached out just to say, hey, uh, take a look at what we're doing with only office today. And only office provides uh, a free web for personal use, desktop version, and mobile solutions. And it's truly uh, multi-platform. It works on Windows, Linux, iOS, I took him up on the offer because it had been a while, and it's one of those things, you know, you kind of get in a groove with software that you're using day in, day out, but I'm really glad that I gave this another shot because there's one standout feature here that really makes a huge difference for myself, and I suspect many of you watching this video uh, have come across the same issue, and that's when you're working with a Microsoft Office document and how the formatting of that document opens up in, say, LibreOffice. So we're going to do a comparison uh, between the two for this particular formatting from a Microsoft Office suite. Before we do that, though, I do want to talk about OnlyOffice, not just from the aspect of their desktop version, which is what we're going to look at today, but they also offer online Office suites for personal use as well as corporate use, and you can set up OnlyOffice uh, for your own, they have the Enterprise Edition, um, Integration Edition, but you can set up only Office for your own hosted Next Cloud, Own Cloud, uh, share, you know, set it up kind of like SharePoint. So some of the features that you get, you know, styling and formatting, but you also get co-editing modes, uh, real time and paragraph locking. Um, you can get comments and mentions. So it's really collaborative. You can embed your document, work with multiple files and multiple cloud solutions in one workspace. Truly, it's one of those things that was an eye-opener for me because it goes beyond just an office suite to now they have email interface as well as a CRM. So one of the first things we'll do is take a look at a Microsoft Office formatted Word document within only Office. And I'm going to use this as a key illustration to point out why OnlyOffice will always be on my desktop. So I work a lot with different quotes on different types of machinery. And so we're going to pull up a quote that was formatted in Microsoft Office. And, and then we'll swap over to LibreOffice to the latest version because I want to point this out first. And then we'll move on from there to the interface of both applications. So the first thing you'll notice here is that you've got a logo and then a structure here with a photo of the machine with a form here for various information that you'll fill in and then specifications, so on and so forth, and then an, an image here. And this is a total of three pages. So this document, if I were to open this up in Microsoft Office, would look exactly the same. So now from there, we're going to switch over and we're going to take a look at the exact same document within LibreOffice. And right away, you notice that the structure of this first page is all out of whack. The logo is covering up this form here. Uh, this information is supposed to be at the bottom of this page. So from the get-go here, there would be some work where the logo would have to be moved. Uh, this particular form here would have to be moved and adjusted. And then we see here that we have a blank page inserted where there should not be one, and that's because of the formatting above. And then we see here this page seems to fare okay, and then the drawing is in place. So right out of the gate, if you're someone like myself who just basically is going to have to work at some point with Microsoft Office documents as, as opposed to just an open document format, this can be huge, or a huge negative, let me put it that way, in working with LibreOffice. So to my surprise, when I bounced over use only Office, and it's the first time I've used only Office, gosh, in probably a year and a half, two years, 
to see this formatting coming in exactly as it should was very exciting and it's also a huge time saver uh, whenever you know you're interacting and working with various documents so that alone is reason for me to continue to keep only office on my desktop now I've tried this with multiple other documents. I just wanted to pull this one in just um, as an example. And I can attest that so far it, it appears that only Office does a better job than LibreOffice at keeping the structure of Microsoft Office documents. Now that's in Word and pretty much in PowerPoint. I haven't really messed around with Excel much. Now, I'm not saying LibreOffice isn't good, and I'm not saying that OnlyOffice is better than LibreOffice or WPS. But for this one particular main feature here, for me, this is what I work with for my day job. And I imagine that for many of you watching this video, um, you, you have a similar scenario where you're always battling the format of documents coming from Microsoft Office. It would be a beautiful world if everyone just switched to LibreOffice or OnlyOffice or something like that that saves in the open document format. So I do want to point out that while there is a Windows version, a Linux version, a Mac OS version, and also apps for uh, Apple, for iOS, and Android, the Android app is pretty much only for viewing the documents. All right, so let's move on over to the interface for OnlyOffice. And for me, that is an area that um, muscle memory will kick in for a lot of people. You know, the ribbon interface uh, for most people with Microsoft Office, they're familiar with that. And really, when you launch into OnlyOffice for the first time, it's extremely easy to navigate and find your way around because of this tabbed interface. Now, you've got a tabbed interface on LibreOffice, uh, which is an option now that's built in and has been for some time. But this is the only uh, interface and layout that I have found within OnlyOffice. It's while all of the main editing features are there, it doesn't seem to have the number of options that you'll find within LibreOffice. You know, so here you've got your typical insert where you can insert blank pages, breaks, headers, footers, images, charts and tables, and, and text box, things like that, as well as text art, um, which covers most of the bases you know, in a Word document. Also under the Layout tab, you can change your margins, your orientation, uh, references here for footnotes, hyperlinks, and bookmarks. And then you have a collaboration tab here. So you can track changes, display mode, things like that. Accept changes, reject changes, you know, of course, make your comments. And then you have protection, so you can encrypt the document from here. And then we come over to a plugins tab. And again, all of this is just really straightforward. It's really easy to use this uh, if you've come from Microsoft Office, especially to find your way around with these tabs. It's just it's extremely easy. The other thing that's really nice about the interface with OnlyOffice is that you're working with all three document types within one window. So if we wanted to, for example, work with a spreadsheet, that's going to open up as a tab right beside our Word document. And the same goes for presentation and or comparing to Microsoft PowerPoint. So quickly from tab to tab, you can bounce around through three different document types without launching into separate windows for each document type. And the more I've started to use this feature, the more it really uh, makes sense to me. So I really like this. The toolboxes and everything pretty well remain right where they are from uh, application to application. And they use uh, color modes here to indicate you know, what you're working on. Blue for the Word document, green for the Excel document, and kind of a reddish color for presentation. And I think if you'll compare that to Microsoft Office, those colors are in keeping with kind of their trend as well. And again, it comes back to now visual memory and muscle memory with the tab layout and then the colors kind of matching makes it really easy to jump right over and use this Office Suite. So let's talk about some of the differences here briefly between uh, just interacting with LibreOffice and I, I keep bringing up LibreOffice because that's the one you're going to find pre-installed on a lot of Linux distros or you know just quick and easy access and more than likely if you're just getting into Linux and you're trying to figure out what office suite you would use you're going to read and find quite a bit about LibreOffice so that's why I'm kind of pointing back to that so let's hop over here to LibreOffice 
And so with the LibreOffice interface, now um, you can change the view and we'll go over here to, let's see, we'll go to Home and we'll go to Options. And if you go to View, you have an option for different icons and depending on which OS you're in, um, you may want to choose you know, a, a different icon set. So if, for example, you're using Ubuntu, elementary may look better. Or if you're certainly if you're using uh, elementary OS, then elementary would look better. And this is where you get into having a lot more options within LibreOffice than you do OpenOffice. But if you're just wanting to jump in and, and edit a document or something like that, do you really need all of these options? And if we jump over to user interface, this is where you'll have your standard toolbar. This is pretty much what you'll see when you first launch in. This may be fine for anyone using it to quickly navigate. Or you may find that this tabbed interface or grouped bar compact is just something that you're more familiar with. But in my opinion, if we bounce back over here to to only office, it just has a cleaner, more professional look. And again, I really like this tabbed interface for the, the individual documents. Overall, we've got some excellent choices in Linux and that's the great news and they continue to get better. Hopefully one day the world will wake up and realize that, hey, if we all start using an open document format, then we don't have to worry about bouncing back and forth between different Office suites, and we don't have to worry about, was this done in Microsoft Office? And also, corporations kind of need to wake up and realize that LibreOffice and OnlyOffice and, and FreeOffice and WPS Office are all excellent alternatives to paying through the nose for Microsoft Office. Uh, why they don't embrace this, and, and I think maybe some corporations are finally starting to come around and realize that we don't need to pay thousands of dollars a month for our employees to have access to Office 365, for example. So anyway, I hope this video is helpful. And I just uh, kudos to the only Office team. Please keep up the excellent work. Uh, very happy, Vlad, that you reached out. And uh, this is really going to help me uh, in interacting with those Microsoft documents. So uh, thank you and the team for everything you're doing.